Okay, so here we are in the basement. The plumber walked through the basement, taking in one of the worst cases of his 30-year career. This has been going on for far too long. He estimates raw sewage pumped into the home for a year. The tenants above, oblivious to what was going on. When I moved into that place, I was living in my car. <laughs> so I thought it was going to save me, when in reality it just made me sick. Gallant lived here for two years. Besides a slight smell, she dealt with rats, roof leaks, and faulty electricity. It's what she could afford on her wages from Tim Hortons, and it was better than her car. But when the leak was discovered, she left, leaving most of her possessions behind. I lost everything. I just, it, and that's going to make me cry a little bit now, but it's, um, it's a shock, basically, to find out that you can't take the clothes that are on your back and you just have to leave everything. Gallant believed the home was condemned because the plumber had called the province and the municipality with his concerns. But both levels of government told CBC they didn't condemn the building or even enter the home to investigate, saying it wasn't their jurisdiction. And the landlord didn't respond to our request for comment. Gallant experienced facial swelling, rashes, and infections, going to the emergency department multiple times. One doctor says he's seeing more patients whose living conditions seem to be making them sick. It just seems like there's more and more out there in terms of people describing events where the landlord is not uh, doing what is necessary for their basic health, and, and that's a human right. Town officials say even though they knew about the leak, they didn't consider sending in a bylaw inspector because they hadn't heard directly from the tenants. Advocates say this shouldn't mean officials can wash their hands of it. The way that the system typically works is the onus is on the tenant to identify and raise concerns about unhealthy conditions. And this is one of the roots of the problem. We've put the burden on the people who have the most to lose. Though Gallant did lose her housing and most of her possessions, she found a new apartment with help from a local homeless shelter. She's slowly working to buy the essentials and keep moving forward. Nicholas Sagan, CBC News, New Glasgow. Ooh.